Well, this might be the last time I ever haul the 080. Definitely did not plan on selling it anytime soon, but a couple options came up on the table that were Hoss and I decided we we're gonna jump at. Uh, so selling this is just gonna lessen our conscience about spending some more money on some extra iron, but it's going to a good home. So we're gonna go drop it off right now. Made a package deal, uh, pretty much all three buckets and the grapple. This thing's turnkey ready to go to work. And I think it's gonna hit the fire lines this season. Just like that. Crosses the line right here, it's at its new home. New owner, new home. This is my buddy Garrett, by the way, if you didn't know the guy about that. Fort Gen. It's my first machine right there. That and the trailer and my OG 5500. Don't get any ideas. I'm not selling the 08. Selling this to pave the way for something else equally as badass, but more badass. So I sold the Texas Pride. He actually wanted to buy it, but stars didn't line for it. And uh, we came to a split decision last night, Haas and I, that we had an option to justify selling this rig to go after the new options and I thought Garrett might be interested he showed up first thing this morning I wasn't even done cleaning the stuff out of it he showed up and helped clean it out and fix a couple things and there it goes but now he doesn't have the trailer that he wanted to buy from me so he's got to hopefully buy one from David I think he's gonna reach out to him and get an amnesty been in my office for the last seven years. Maybe longer. I don't remember. Eight years, maybe. Now seven. Seems probably been ran by Haas 50 hours, maybe, in the last seven years. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a hundred. So to see this thing operating from the outside, it's kind of different. This is kind of funny right here. There's weight. <laughs> Sold the 080 the other day, dropped it off at my buddy's yard, and he brought it over to his house, and we're headed to go look at a job right now. <laughs> Never, ever would have expected to see it sitting in a suburb just chilling. <laughs> this is a hoss is right in front of you, if you didn't notice. So, the 080 just chilling right there. Oh, <laughs> 080. Completely different the unit looks now. Yeah. Just a little bit of paint. Does look awkward without stickers on it, so. It does. <laughs> the stickers just add that pop. Mm hmm. Just brings it back around like graphics on your dirt bike, you know? Exactly. Dude, I don't even get masking tape, just get uh, tinfoil. All right. That's, that's a new one. Clearly not worried about overspray on his truck, you know. <laughs> Gets to work. Why is my tire blue? Oh yeah, that's right. I painted the saw rack down the driveway. That's Toyota blue, right? Yep, Toyota blue, not hmm. Ford blue. It honestly, it's coming across as like a Ford blue. It's got a little too much pearl in it. Did you plan on it having? Maybe it'll flatten out a little bit. Hey, okay, sold this thing last week, still working on it. Oh my God. Dude, better watch out. I think that guy came here to take your wife. Well, put about 15 bucks worth of rattle can on there, nine layers. Went with the Toyota Platinum Ford Blue. And uh, he's got this thing shined up looking real nice. Might just try to buff that up there. But I was driving by. He's out here working on it. I had to stop in and say what's up. Oh. Hey, you're blocking the driveway. There's somebody here. <laughs> Two rams? Yeah. But they're obviously both smaller. 
And that's kind of more friction. Dude, that counterweight just ties her together. Yeah. Yeah, I got a document. Garrett's new trailer he snagged up a PJ for pretty cheap. But well, the old boy was driving around McDonald's and just decided to rub the rail to death. And it's only like a four year old trailer, not even. I got the Toyota. Let's get out of here. Well, we're running a little bit late for dinner, so we had to roll on out of there. He's going to fire up the cricket and bring out a couple new Kubota stickers and might come up with some company decals to slap on that. 80. I'm actually pretty excited for Garrett. It wasn't too many years ago, man, two and a half, maybe three years, something like that. Garrett came over and was thinking about quitting his day job and, you know, going full tractor work because he had been doing a little odds and ends with his old man, doing some tractor stuff. And to have what he has right now and to not have payments on any of it is pretty dang impressive. It's not all brand new stuff. He did get uh, Lemon Law on his 2020 3500, so they did full buyout on his truck. So he was able to take some of that money and reinvest it back in the business and still buying pretty much the same exact truck. He got that 18 3500, which you guys saw a video on that. He got a good deal on that rig. He was gonna buy my Texas Pride trailer from me, but he hadn't really landed on what he was planning on doing, what kind of machine he was gonna get smaller excavator 080 class excavator or chipper or something but uh an opportunity arose for my dad and i in our business the b-belt and son that uh kind of made sense to sell the 080 and i was like well i'll call garrett up and tell him what i'm hoping to get out of it and he came over and test drove the machine that next morning and Took it over to his, uh, where he stores his equipment, not his actual suburb house where he's working right now. And we just made the deal. And I sold my Texas Pride trailer already. Sold it actually months ago so I could put that towards a new 40K. You know, just trying to be a little bit responsible with it because we don't need 18 of the same item, you know. So I was like, well, I'll sell one, go get the other one. And that's what the sell the 080 is for. But then he got, I would say, pretty lucky and found that PJ for rock bottom price it's going to need some cosmetic repairs but it's mechanically sound it's got good axles good brakes and uh, he's right there in the threshold of the 080 with the 3500 on that trailer so he should be all right he's going to get that thing signed up for fires next week he's already got the fire curtains reaped in it just need a little bit more seat time with the rotate dangle grapple on that machine the way i got the controls figured it's a little bit different but i'm pretty dang excited for him got a setup that I'm pretty happy all in all. Uh, PJ is a little weird, but it'll get the job done for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below what you think we're going to get to replace the 080 because I think it's going to actually surprise all of you guys. Because technically the 080 was replaced by the Mechlec, but I wasn't going to get rid of the 080 um, until this option came up. Didn't plan on selling the 080 at all. It was a Monday afternoon looked at something didn't expect to buy it and then decided hmm, we'll go ahead and go that route if we can sell the 080 gave gear at a fair price on it for both of us we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching later well this is our current setup they're running a mechalec mainly has a fixed rotabec grapple on it we've definitely upgraded the fleet over the last couple years the project that you see in the background is the one we started last winter sometime worked a little bit on the summer and the prime tech's first job was actually on this property we had a couple acres in the nasty little canyon goalies of this job that we need to come back and address and we actually got signed off as full completion government subsidy project but there's one little bit of an issue gaining access to this property in the neighborhood uh, i said well you got the tractors here could we get you guys to fix a road for us the one of the ditches up the hill actually filled and caused the water coming off the hill to boil over into the middle of the road and wash the road out and got down here to the bottom on the bridge. Now they did have several telephone poles on the left side there to shore up the edge of it so that the gravel doesn't wash down into the creek over the culvert. And well, that rotted and broke out. So 
used the road pick and actually brought the bucket to grab a little bit of the gravel that got pushed off the road to try fixing this. Got rid of the telephone poles and put a new log in there. It, again, it's not really a full-on fix, but it's way better than it was so they can get their horse trailers and stuff out of this neighborhood. But this is going to give you a little bit of an idea on what we are getting to replace the 080 with. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much. Again, comment below your guesses on what we're getting.